Hello guys, KP Shamino here with my part 15 uh, for my best money farm and we are now in Michigan and uh, this is most of the time the position that people are starting to make very decent money. So it's the pike and you will see that I got now two thirds of my net full and I got 24,000 currency with premium of course, always remember that. So we are looking for a full net for 30 to 40,000 currency and uh, it's going to take let's say 4 5 hours in game so you can fish in the day because they are not biting that well at the night so the next uh, yeah problem that i had was that uh, you need to have if you want to do a decent money farm you need to have level 37 gear for a match setup and level 38 gear for a bottom setup what do I mean? A money farm, I see so many videos they are using like uh, yeah, a test of 10 kilograms, they fight the fish for 50 minutes and they put in the title money farm. That's not a money farm, that's just fighting a fish with, with, with gear that is not made for that kind of fish. So with this setup, the level 38, you, you fight a little bit of trophies, the unique is going to give a fight too, but you got pace in catching fish. And therefore, it's very important that you use the level 38 or 37. Depends what you want to do. But for the guys that want to come a little bit quicker, there is a solution too. And I will give it to you guys too. So, it's a bobber setup. And it's kayak fishing. So, with kayak fishing, you can just go behind the fish. And your setup does not matter that much. I'm going with the bobber setup. With the heaviest, closest to... The, the, the level that you come here. So that's the Ardix 370. The Hornet Swarm 5000. Braid 0.19. Fluorocarbon Leader 0.4. Chubby. Uh, Bobber. Hook 2.0 and Large Minnows or Shiners. Uh, so no Titanium Leader. I am totally clueless. Why so many people are using Titanium Leader. For the Northern Pike. For the Muskie you need to use it. The Northern Pike, you got a chance that he bites through your leader if it is a unique. And even then, most of the time they are not going to do it. But the problem is, if you use a Titanium leader, your bite rate goes very fast down. So there is not really a benefit why you would do it. Okay, you will lose sometimes your test. That's like a hook and a leader. That's all what you are going to lose. But in a money farm, I cannot put a Titanium leader in it. Because you will lose a lot of money because you got less bites. Therefore, don't use a titanium leader. But be sure that you fish on the position that I say to you guys. Don't try to do other stuff and go to musky spots and all that shit. Because then you're going to lose your shit the whole time. So, very important. You will not see me using titanium leaders. So, that's a setup. You guys can just get the kayak and go to the positions that I show you. I'm not going to do it because it takes way too long. So that's for 31. If you're 37 or 38, you can get this setup. So it's a 38 setup. So the bottom sniper, three, 330. The mega tank, 6000. So you guys can see right away, 15 kilogram. That's the bottleneck. If you come with lower setups to this kind of fishing, yeah, it's not going to work that well. Uh, then we got the, the Mono 0.5, the Sinker 75 gram, Mono Leader 0.4, Hook 4.0 and Shiners. This is 38, why? Because the Mono Leader is 38. <laughs> so I cannot do a lot about it, it's just the same than, uh, than the line almost. So you, otherwise I need to go 2 kg under the, the line and I don't want to do that. Because that's strength that you lose. Then the next one is the Brutus 360, the Mega Tank again, just the same, the Mono, just the same, the Chubby Bobber. Why is this 37? Simple, I don't lead the leader. So you can come a little bit sooner if you want to match fish. I'm going with the 6-0 hook here and large minnow. So one with the shiners, a little bit smaller hook, and one with the, yeah, the big hook. So what we are going to do now is I rotate on two positions. That's very important because position two is very good too. I already used that position in another video, but I don't think too many people saw it. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to forward the time two times because I want to fish this time frame again because it was really good. Uh, so let me do this. I think I started at eight or nine. 
Yeah, let's start at 9 too. It was really decent. Uh, it's a cloudy day at 9 just when the rain stops. So what we are going to do is... Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you guys the net. So go with this net that you can keep the unique. 150 kilogram, 25 kilogram. I think it's level 37 to or 36. So you guys need to check it yourself. And I'm going with this, the duet stunt. Why this? Because... My my rods can be flat on the ground. The other one you need to put them high. So I like this a lot more. And it does the job. So I'm only fishing with two rods. I don't really see a benefit why you would uh, fish with uh, with three rods. So yeah, one second guys. I'm going to say to my boy that he... Because he's talking behind me. Okay, sorry for that, guys. So, uh, yeah, where do we need to go? So, I'm going to reset the peg. So, you need to come here. So, Woods of the Eastern Bank. And we are going to fish a little bit, and then I'm going to end the video. It works really well. Uh, it took me some time to find, because to give you guys an example, making those videos, I already spent 600,000 currency. Because how does it work? Uh, you always want to go to the best setting. So, but I need to buy all that stuff. Just test it. How hard the fish is fighting. Is it possible? And the moment that you see, okay, this works fine. That's the setup. But by then you already spent 600,000 currency. And now I'm getting to the lakes that uh, the gear is very expensive. But that's not a problem. With Arapima in the Amazonian, just like 5-6 hours and I make millions and millions. So... That's not really a problem for me. But that's to say, you guys, what uh, the amount of time and uh, resources that you need to put in to make uh, yeah, decent guides like this. So you need to come over here, guys. And you put the rod pot, of course, down. Uh, number three is the bottom setup. So you just throw over here. Here we go. With the bell, of course, that you can hear it. And the other one, you can do it uh, both ways. It depends. If you want to uh, minimize uh, the game and do something else, I would suggest that you keep it in your hand, that you can hear the, the sound when you got the bite. And that's what you need to do, guys. So normally, I'm not sure, is it a good day like yesterday? Yesterday, I had, you guys saw it, 100 kilograms in three hours uh, in game. Uh, but sometimes it can be, uh, yeah, not so good. It's the same weather, but there are other factors that are influencing the bite. So we are going to wait a little bit. And there, ah, okay, that's very good. So this is number one. And you can see normals, you just lift them up, it's spent fishing. But this is 800 currency already. Therefore, it's another kind of, uh, of fishing and therefore, a lot of people uh, start to farm Michigan and then they go to California to the sturgeon. Uh, because it's very easy fishing. You just sit here. If it dries up, you just go to another spot, to the next one that I will show you guys in a brief moment. I just want to see that we can get maybe a couple of more fish. But always remember, guys, it's not uh, always the same. I already said it in my previous video too. Therefore, I always want to show it live and I go to a random uh, day. Because sometimes the bite is very bad. Can you do something about it? No. You cannot do something about it. There is not a spe special magic thing that you can do about it. Uh, you just need to sit it out. Or you need to go to the next day. Uh, it's how it works. Uh, and yeah. There is nothing you can do about it. So let's have a look. Is that the only fish game? Once again, it's unbelievable. The previous day I had already four trophies now. Okay, I see the bobber going. So a little bit complaining. So now it's in the rod pot. You see the bobber going away and you can just strike. And this is maybe... Let me have a look. No, it's a normal one. Here we go. So that's another pike, 712. Can we get the trophy for the video? I need to say that the uniques are very rare in this area. If I remember the good old days, <laughs> you could like... 
get like four or five unis in the morning, or four or five unis in the afternoon, of in the evening. Uh, that's now dumb. The unique uh, pikes, they are very, very, very rare. I'm going to check this for a brief moment. I always check on the bottom rod that it's not snagged. The same for the for the bobber. So if you see it's in the lilies and the shiner or the, the large minnow is not moving anymore, it's time to unsnag it because you're not going to get a bite. And we got a bite again on the, the bobber. So the bobber is today very active. And uh, is he going to bite, please? Yeah, he stops now. So I'm expecting a bite. Wait a little bit longer. And here we go. I, it's possible this is a trophy. Trophies, they are like uh, a couple thousand currency. So you can see they are fighting. Uh, but you will get them on a decent time in. Therefore I want those setups. So here a trophy, it's a small one, but 1432 currency. So that's not so bad. So we got already, I think, what is it? 3000 currency. So can we get one more fish? And then I'm going to show you guys really quick the second position. And that's what you need to do. So you just get the net full. Uh, if the bite goes away, you go to the other position. It's possible that the two positions are very dry. Then you need to sit it out a little bit. The cooldown is back. You go to the next day, you get the net pack full. And that's how you need to grind it out. So that's uh, a little bit the steps that you need to do. But you will make a lot of money. Uh, so I would suggest that you stay here because I don't think that this bottom rod uh, is usable for the sturgeon. What I'm going to do after this video is going to California because I think that's the next lake in levels. Uh, but uh, they buffed the sturgeon so I'm not sure what the level is that you need to have to get decent bottom rods or match setups. And it's once again the, the bobber that is going guys. So that's the third fish of the four that is on the bobber. So let's have a look. Can we get another trophy? Here it goes. It's a, it's a, it's a little bit bigger too. I guess it's back a trophy. So let's have a look. Yeah, once again, 1,400 currency. So you guys can see I'm now fishing 30 minutes in-game and I already got 4,380. So now it's time to show you guys the second position. So you need to come here to King of the Green Bay. And then you just run here to the right. That is a very good position. You will not get the unique here, but you will get a lot of trophies here. But you need to uh, watch it a little bit because sometimes you get a muskie here too. Uh, I never got a unique here, uh, so you don't need to be worried that you got beat them off, but it's always possible. So always be sure, you cannot do a lot about it. If you see it's a very big fish and you got beat them off, it was the muskie. Get a new leader, a new hook and you just continue. Don't get uh, panic, I already told you guys why I'm not using a titanium. So you just throw uh, here on the marker. So, for the guys that are coming with the kayak, because I totally forgot about it. So, where do you need to go? So, you start over here, I think, with the kayak here. And you need to go all the way to here in the bay. And the position that I'm now fishing is this position. Minus 3, minus 230. And the other one was over here. So, it was... Uh, no, it was here, I think. Here it was. No. It was here. Yeah, it was over here. So, but you guys can see it really well. It's against the lilies, but you... Oh, there is already a fish on. So, that's... It's today a day uh, that it's uh, it's very good on the, on the bobber. And I hope that I can get them both in. That is something that uh, that is a problem if you got uh, setups that are way too low. And this is a trophy. I'm going to strike really quick on the bottom rod. Because this is a lot uh, smaller. Because I saw it. This one is a normal. The other one is a trophy. So let's not get... Uh, yeah. That we miss the, the trophy. Going to get him really quick out of the water. The other one is jumping in front of my feet. Okay, here we go. That's a trophy. Not bad. 1700 currency. Okay. 
this is a normal one, I think, yeah. Because he was a lot smaller. Oh no, it's a trophy too. Not bad, 3000 currency in the video. I Therefore, I want to get this spot in too, because it's very good. You guys can see back-to-back -back trophies. Just made 3k. It dries up a lot faster than the first one. Uh, but you always need to put it in the rotation. So if uh, the first one dries up, uh, you come here. You will get a couple of trophies. There is already a bite again. It's uh, it's it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. 30 kilogram of pike already in 38 minutes in game. So uh, yeah, therefore it's such a good money farm. And you guys can see even with dual bites, you will get the fish in. It was two trophies, you know. Therefore, come here. Oh fuck. That was not smart. So yeah, I pulled the bait away and I lost the bait on the bobber. Because I thought it were the bells of the bottom rod, but yeah, fat fingers. I just pushed the wrong uh, yeah, number. And I need to say, yeah, that's not good. I need to say that they bite really well here. This is even better than spot number one at the moment. Okay, let's have a look that we can get one more. And then I'm going to end the video, guys. And then I'm off to California. Uh, so, by the way, for the guys that want to go with the boat, I'm going to say one thing to you guys. You can fish for catfish and sturgeon too, if you want. With the kayak. Uh, with the bobber setup. But you need to do it, of course, over here. So, here is the area. So, this, this was the position. So, park your boat here. Put your bobber over here. Go maximum depth. And go at the night. Uh, don't anchor the boat, of course, never, that you can go after it, but you can do it that way too. With those bottom rods that I'm now using, you cannot do it. Uh, they are way too strong. Uh, so I guess you need to have like a, a higher tier in bottom rods for it, but I will test it. But the guys that want to go with the kayak, uh, or the guys that just want to go for sturgeon and catfish, uh, you can do it that way too. I tested it. I tested the two. Is it worth to go for the sturgeon and the catfish with the boat? Money-wise, the conclusion was no. But if you want to try it, you always can do it. Therefore, I'm saying it to you guys. Because money-wise, this is better. But I can imagine you come here, you want to get the catfish, you want to get the sturgeon, maybe for your cart that you got all the species here or something. Just do it with the boat. And the, the setup that I showed you guys, the 31 uh, match setup that I showed you guys, it works. But of course, maximum depth. I think it's done, guys. Uh, so the bite is gone. Uh, 8,447 currency in uh, 47 minutes. So thanks for watching, guys. I see you in the next video. Probably California. I guess the sturgeon. Uh, but I'm not sure what level you need to be. But we will see. Bye-bye.